And uh, yeah, this is the old fashioned way. This is uh, uh, about a hundred year old kick wheel. There you I spin with my foot and, and the flywheel keeps the momentum going. It just takes a little patience to center the clay. And once it's centered, I can drill down, make just about anything from a centered piece of clay. But I'm going to make a, a bowl, a cereal bowl, or a soup bowl, or a popcorn bowl, or I've had kids, uh, uh, what did somebody say, a cream fudge cake bowl? <laughs> And, uh, but first, I'm going to texture this one. I'm going to do this one a little differently. I'm going to the bottom if I want. I'm going to make my sides more upright right now. Flare my top. And now, and I've got it to this point, I'm going to use seashell. I love the beach and I love to texture things with, with seashells. And I'm just going to make lines up the side. And then once I get this done here, I'm going to do what all good potters know they need to do is clean their bottoms <laughs> clean the bottom of the bowl and I use my sponge to clean that line on the bottom and then going to take the top Thin that out a little. And then with my sponge on the inside, I'm going to belly the, the center of the bowl out to give it some space inside, leaving the texture on the outside untouched. But it pushes it out, stretches it a little bit, opens up the interior of the bowl. And Nice bellied out textured bowl for gumbo, soup, chili, or cereal, or whatever you want to put in a bowl. And modern day potters use a wire, an actual wire, to cut the cut the pieces off the, the wheel. Um, any fisher people here? I use spider wire, about 60 pound spider wire, and I twist it on a piece of bamboo root and a little button of clay. And I use that to cut my pots off with. And then, then I can take and take this bowl. It'll lift right off the the wheel head and put it over here to dry. And and actually, in, in not long at all, it's been a while since I threw. I, there's a couple under. There's several under the table I've thrown, but I wonder. Yeah, this one. This one's leather hard. If you want to feel it. You can come here and feel this. This is cold. It's it's cool. It's still you can hold it and and you see it's still damp. This is what's called leather hard, where I can still clean the bottom, clean it up and hold it. But that's it. here. Hold it in your hand and see. That's how it's, it's cool and damp and and it's still slightly malleable. It's still slightly you know it's leather hard. It's like leather. And at this stage, this is when you can take it and you can carve more on it. But. Um, actually, the design on the inside of this, I had some, I don't know, five, six, eight-year-olds, and they were watching me, and I let them, I let them all put designs and things on the inside while it was, while it was there. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, we're all kids just playing in clay. Potters are, and so that that design in there is kind of neat, really, and that will get fired and then glazed, and and it'll either be um, down here for sale or 
or more than likely it'll probably be a habitat. Where are y'all from? Smithville. Smithville. Macon County, all right. Well, in Cookville, Habitat for Humanity has a cooking on the square the last Friday in October every year. And they go through about 3,000 bowls. So, and I volunteer and make bowls for them, but I also donate some that I've made from, from here too. So. There's a lot, they need a lot of bowls, so this may be down there, and people pay to buy a handmade bowl, and then they get to sample gumbo, and and in two hours, there'll be over 3,000 people go through there, and they'll be able to uh, make enough to, to just about build a house in, in two hours. But it takes a whole year, and all the community, there's about 60 people that make big tubs of gumbo, um, they provide rice, there's uh, Coke or Pepsi will do, do drinks, and so the whole community gets together, churches make desserts, and it's just a big time where people gather for a couple hours on the square and, and have fun and, and talk. <laughs> anyway, so that's where this bowl will probably go.